So, uh, so to add your 10% pop-up to your website using Journal, you go to uh, Journal, down to Modules, and when you get to Modules, then you'll see a bunch of these little modules. These are little blocks you can put in on your page. Um, so I would suggest it's pop-up here, and you have then this new customers 10% off. If you want to make it like this, so you just put it in here. It gives you the general settings for the whole pop-up, the header, the content and the footer. So we just do the general ones here. We'll turn it on. We'll say it will uh, pop up after 195 milliseconds. We'll put the we put the reset cookie on it. Um, in other words, they can close out the the, uh, the pop-up and say they never want it to uh, display again. So just close that off there. We can put in the header here, whereas you might want to put a header on the on the actual pop-up. You put in the content here. So here we have a little icon here, pop-up newsletter, social icons footer. Um, so this they're basically getting 10% if they sign up to a to a newsletter. And then on the footer we have uh, don't show again. So we have a little button that says don't show that they can put in that they don't want uh, the pop-up to show again. So it doesn't show up again inside in their in their um, in their shopping experience. So that's generally the way you, you, you do the, the, the pop the pop ups. Uh, you can add as many as you want. Um, I would suggest you don't add too many of them because too many pop ups are pretty annoying. Um, so I'd be I'd be sparing on the pop ups um, you know unless you're giving something off or something like that. It's the be really the only reason I would use them. Um, these are the inbuilt ones here, size chart and ask a question about a product. They come with the template. You can use those as a guide. If you want to replicate them, you can just simply just hit the duplicate button here and says, are you sure? And then you can just do the, it'll just duplicate it. And then you can edit the content within that. If you don't, don't want it, you can just delete it. And always remember to uh, save your settings. Uh, and to flush the cache when you're on the way out. So you just uh, clear the cache here and that clears the cache out on the website. Hope that helps.